leaders that stood by me, and I want to thank them again. You are true leaders. You are credible leaders. You did not do what was in your best interest. You did what was in the best interest of the community, and you're suffering for it, and I feel bad for you. I do. And I'm sure you see the emotion in me, because it's not fair. It's not fair for him to be called, you punk-ass Uncle Tom Coon. We saw you sell out to them, you rat-ass faggot punk. That's the tone of what we're calling our elected leaders for standing up and simply saying, let justice prevail and let the process take its course. To go on to say, you ass-kissing faggot that has done little to our community. All we know is that you are a bitch puppet. You, you rat-ass looking coon on TV. I bet they made you say that, puppet boy. I know what I see. I know that Norman is a piece of shit, and you stood behind that white boy with that bullshit nigga. You won't even stand with your people, you self-serving son of a bitch. Really? And the tone of these go on and on and on and on. And all we simply asked for was let them do their job. That's it. To the ministers who I met with at Hosanna Church the other day. You are credible leaders. You gave me the opportunity to explain what was going on, how we were going through this. And you have received, from what I understand, nothing but criticism. That you weren't more aggressive, that you didn't make more demands, and that you've had parishioners threaten to leave your church. Shame on these folks. Shame. We're constantly talking and asking all of us to reach across the aisle, to embrace one another amongst the races. And when we do so, when we collectively stack, stand together, this is what we call one another. Shame on you. It's completely and totally uncalled for. To you I feel bad, and I apologize. I thank you for being the credible leader that you are. And I know on our day of reckoning, you will be recognized for standing up and doing the right thing. I know that. To the folks, and it ain't about me, because I don't care about me, but to the folks that have said the god-awful things about these guys that I've had to hear that their kids have asking when are you coming home so that we can put up our Christmas tree and they haven't been home since Thursday night in order to accomplish what we've accomplished in this case for the bad behavior of two people that started this thing And calling these men and ladies that are out there working the overtime, because I'm demanding it, for the purpose of getting to the end of this situation. And here we are Monday, or Tuesday, excuse me, at 10 a.m., and this thing from Thursday to Monday, accomplishing all that they have accomplished. Shame on you. Shame on you. When all they've tried to do is their job to get to the truth. To get to the truth. I bring that up, folks, today because it's, it's not even really anymore about this case. 
It's about all the other cases that are yet to come. We better reflect and look at ourselves in the mirror and decide what are we going to be about in our community. Are we going to continue to tear ourselves apart? We don't even give people the opportunity to do what they're supposed to do. And in this case, I will tell you, from the first instance of what went out on the social networks, we created an environment that we now know witnesses were afraid to come forward. Afraid. Afraid. And I can promise you, had I made an arrest Thursday night, they would not have come forward. For sure. In some cases. Because they said they got them. I don't need to get involved. But that was the furthest from the truth. Because this case, even as of right now, 10 a.m. Tuesday morning, is still maturing, is still developing, and is still moving forward. If you're sincere about justice in the future, I would suggest to you that you pause and you let your elected folks in the criminal justice system or appointed folks in your criminal justice system do their job. Do their job. Because all you've served is as an impediment to them doing their job. You're scaring witnesses away. You're sending things down a course that we need not travel and you're treating people unfairly for doing the right thing. For just simply doing the right thing. How unreasonable were these requests? Don't jump to a conclusion. Relax. Pause. Wait. Let us see what is going to happen. 